Isani was a sacrifice. Pure sacrifice. Because if you look at the story surrounding the death of Ifani, it bears all the hallmarks, it bears all the trappings of a typical ritual sacrifice situation. From everything I've researched in my life about ritual sacrifices for fame in Hollywood and in the entertainment industry. Now, you... why are my people, Tori do Jacques, this one shocked me, not be smutty. <laughs> If you just say you don't hear matter for you say this if I a delicate death, <laughs> you never hear to real my people see new one when it does surface on the internet. Popular South Africa pastor don't reveal the secret. He don't expose top Nigeria celeb where be say they use people till they do ritual all in the name say they want go viral. They want get fame. My people not be smart to you. If I a delicate death, my people, they don't they drag and leg leg they enter Richie Richie matter oh. This very popular South Africa pastor talk and say now, oh God, David, oh, now use your own hand, they use your own son, he find a delicate, they renew ritual, all in the name of fame, all in the name, say they want they popular. My people, hey, how truth is this thing, my people? This very South Africa pastor, this matter, eh, and a matter when he heavy for man oh, this one wanna release on social media, so, person will be say they more, a child now, now still they accuse saying that this same man David Do will be say he don't get your money, he don't make money before David Do was even born. If family ever don't get money now, now David Do why can't they use your own blood? They sacrifice him because he want fame for waiting. Ah, hmm. my people not be small matter. Oh, when I remember say David Do now every year one of his person, a close friend must surely go down. This very year, they say, now his son, now he use. Hey, hey. If David do hear this matter, South Africa pastor, hmm, not be small fat, he go be, oh, not be small sue. I hope, say, later, you know, come to say, now, so, now, slip of tongue, my people. I go leave when I make when I watch the video. As David do love, he find rich. Ha, now, wow. I not believe, say, David do go feel carry your own son. Use them, because they want fame. Fame, what do you say, he don't already get what he come one time for money where we say it already blow when i know say david don't a guy where we say he make money in a very tender age now now you want to use his son they sacrifice because where we say he love ha now wow my people eh this matter go live now make we not us in a test cgs tv mat now for year make we year on from instant from this south africa pastor mat not be small matter not be only david don't in expose he expose many mm. This life really did deep, oh, my people. We just got to be very, very careful and prayerful. Mekuna, help me share this video. And if you never subscribe to Tessie TV, I bet don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on my page on Tessie blog. I will see you now for my next video. Bye. I don't want to pretend. I'm being very honest with you. And I believe I'm not alone when I say that I felt like the child that was lost was my biological child. The boy was too precious. The boy was a star in the making, bigger star than his dad. And the devil came and took him. So as soon as this happened, too many people started writing me because they already know how much I know about stuff that go on in the entertainment industry, both in Africa and Hollywood, wherever. I do have some knowledge. And everybody was writing, Joe, what do you think? Do you think it was a sacrifice? Do you think David sacrificed his child and stuff like that? So, I'm making this video not because I have done any proper research into this situation, because usually I will just take my time and research stuff and then I will speak with a tone of finality but that's not the case here but what I'm gonna do is help you understand what I believe may have happened to if I and then I can compare it to the ones that has happened or that have happened to so many other stars in Hollywood and other places and see whether they bear some semblance if you ask me if I was a sacrifice Pure sacrifice. 
Because if you look at the story surrounding the death of Ifani, it bears all the hallmarks, it bears all the trappings of a typical ritual sacrifice situation. From everything I've researched in my life about ritual sacrifices for fame in Hollywood and in the entertainment industry. How can you have all those people in Davido's house and this my precious boy just snuck out and none of them not the nanny, not all the other people, caregivers, and every other person in the house. Nobody saw him in that big house. And he just took off and went straight to the pool. Nobody, no neighbor, no bystander, nobody around anywhere saw this boy. And the guy had already died underneath the water, in the pool. And it took another 20 plus minutes to locate. Are you kidding me? What kind of story is this? This was a sacrifice personal opinion they sacrificed him on the halloween day when they sacrificed whitney houston it was during the grammy they always find all those little things little moments and times and seasons because we don't know about numerology so they know about numbers they put numbers together and they know when to sacrifice who when diana died they also had to deal with numbers you don't know all these things but that's what makes me believe strongly that if I Chuku was sacrificed, I have not really dug deep into all the things I need to dig into. And that's why I'm just giving you personal opinion, what I believe. And in the future, if I have the time to dig into it, I will be sure to let you know what I found out. If the video knew about it or if he didn't know about it. Because there are two scenarios that you must consider when these things happen. The first one is that the artist is aware it will happen. So they put up a show, you know? prior to when the thing happens and when it happens of course there's going to be reaction and all of that okay they dramatize all kinds of stuff that's the first scenario the second scenario as in the case of kanye west is you don't know it's coming they don't prepare you to let you know that it's coming for people who do not know the devil literally sits atop the entertainment industry and that's why over 90% of all the big names you know today have had to sell their souls to the devil. Katy Perry said, I wanted to be like the immigrant of music, but it did not work out, so I sold my soul to the devil. Kanye West said, I sold my soul to the devil. A lot of them, Eminem had done songs where he talked about selling his soul to the devil, and he did another one where he said, be careful what you wish for. And so many, Snoop Dogg and Nicki Minaj and all these people sold their souls to the devil. And when you sell your soul to the devil, you are equipped with a demon because now the devil owns your soul. So the Holy Spirit or your human spirit does not have the right anymore to stay in your soul. So the person that you sold your soul to then replaces whatever spirit is in your soul with his own spirit. So that's why a demon is released into you immediately. And that demon is now what they call alter ego. That's how this works. And why do they have to sell their soul to the devil for fame? Because the devil believes that the kind of money and wealth that you are given and fame is not what you should be getting at the age you're getting it. There is something called time. There are people that their time says your billions come at the age of 40. There are people that their time says your billions will arrive at the age of 50, 45, 60. But you want it at the age of 19. You want it at the age of 20, 15, 16. You got to pay a huge price for that. So that's what happens with selling of souls to the devil. Because all the machinery that will spread you around the world and make you famous, everywhere they announce your name, people will like stampede to get there, to touch you, to see you, to watch you. Your stadium, stadia all over the world are sold out just for you to perform for a few minutes. Everywhere you walk, people faint. Women take off their bras and panties and throw it at you and like, man, you are on top of the world. 
The devil says you don't have the capacity to make all of that happen. I do. So I need your soul. I don't even need your money because I'm making the money through you. So what I need is your soul. That's what matters to me. Just so that at the end of the day, you end up in hell. That's what the devil is a soul merchant. That's what he's doing with these people. So it's a win-win for him. He uses a celebrity to disseminate demons to the world to push ideologies that are satanic from the pit of hell, to change and bend minds away from God. And at the end of the day, he still takes the soul of that same artist. Back in the days, they used to be very explicit and open about it. They tell you, come to the crossroads. When you come to the crossroads, you're met with a guy who talks to you about, are you ready? And then you go like, yes, I'm ready. And then you end up in some room somewhere where you sign your name in blood. They don't do all those things anymore. Today, it's almost like the agreement, the terms of agreement you see on your phone, a brand new phone or device you bought. How many times have you clicked on that thing to read all of it? Don't we all do the same thing? We all rush to where the accept is and then click accept. That's what is happening today with all these new artists. They don't pay attention to the kind of deals they're, they're signing today. You may fly to the U.S. or to Bahamas or somewhere to go sign an agreement to become a big, big guy in the industry. Some label is signed you up in America or signed you up in the U.K. And then suddenly your music is going worldwide and you're like, woo, on top of the world. Nobody made you sign your name in blood. Bad, the agreement you signed came with the package of losing someone or some people that are so dear to you, it will hurt you for a very long time to come. Example, Kanye West. Kanye West's mom was a university professor. Dunda, that's her name. University professor. What university professor wouldn't want her child to pursue academics all the way down to maybe doctorate degree? What, what university professor? But, but Kanye said, look, this is what I want to do. And she found out that education up to college level was standing in the way of this guy becoming what he really wants to be in life. And she did not only let Kanye go to pursue his dream, she also resigned from her job and follow Kanye to keep an eye on him to nurture that dream. So Donda obviously was everything to Kanye because she raised that boy by herself, only her. That's why there was nobody closer to Kanye West than his mom. His mom was the heir that he was breeding. His mom was his everything. So obviously this was the prime target for the devil. So when they took the monk from him, it was a pure ritual sacrifice for his fame. But you know what? You can't find those videos anywhere today. I remember very clearly how that when this happened, Kanye was seen in some videos where he was throwing tantrums, angry at his handlers and friends in the industry, senior colleagues, telling them, you guys didn't tell me this is how it's going to be. Nobody prepared me for this. You can't find those videos anymore. He knew that this was a sacrifice. And so he got so angry and decided he was going to spend the rest of his life exposing the Illuminati and their hands in the industry and all this selling of soul business. He even made a movie at a point to expose the demons that go into people and possess them when they actually sell their souls to the devil and the industry wouldn't let him release the movie. Kanye was ready to fight them, but he can't. He's too small to fight the powers that be. And so he, his life just spiraled out of control. So this Kanye that you see today that breaks down once in a while and says stuff and does things, it all began from that moment. He wasn't always a very quiet guy, but he never was like this until the mother died. He just lost it. What about Eminem? How many of you have seen the music video, Toy Soldiers? If you watch Toy Soldiers, you see Eminem's best friend in the world. Not even his wife or children could compare to proof in his life. Proof was his blood, like everything to him. And if you watch Toy Soldiers, you'll find out that 
Proof was shot and killed in the music video of Toy Soldiers. The same manner he was shot and killed in that music video was the manner in which he was sacrificed in real life. Eminem has not been the same from that moment till today. Eminem started writing songs, started writing all kinds of stuff, exposing the whole deal with the devil in my dog. He began to fight just like Kanye. Unfortunately, you can only do so much. Jennifer Hudson lost family members, about three or four, in one moment. It was her sacrifice and her pay, what she had to pay for her fame. The list is endless. I can show you celebrities who lost young children in their prime. I can show you celebrities who choose children drowned in the pool. And many of them were not aware that this was going to happen. Some of them knew it was going to happen. Usually when these sacrifices are made, you are paying for the fame you already have and you are also paying most of the time for the fame that will happen afterwards so they explode in so much fame. But even after the explosion, most of them begin to spiral out of control. Psychological problems, they become very depressed. They are no longer themselves anymore. They are a shadow of themselves. So even though opportunities have now increased by virtue of their sacrifice, they can't tap into these opportunities because they have lost something too dear to them. They are also human beings. So that's why they would go for the best thing in your life. Makes sense why they had to take you find your way. So from everything I've seen, if Anya was their sacrifice, and if David wasn't aware, you need to put him in prayers because his life after this, doesn't matter how many more children they end up having, his life after this is not going to be very stable. If you follow every single thing that I have documented over the last 15 years of these kinds of situations. Bernard Boy, got to be careful. Because, you know, he's another standout star that's gone global right now. All this fame, all this fame, it comes at a price. Bernard, I don't know how, I don't know what kind of advice to give. Because what would I say to him? Am I going to tell him to pull back from where he's at? The fame has come. He's there now. But just know that the devil will always come for a pound his flesh and in conclusion what i can tell you is that i personally personal opinion believe that if i was a sacrifice thankfully they took him in his state of innocence so i know for sure that if i is in heaven right now and that's the only consolation that we can all have that he's in heaven and he did not taste hell and I pray that the Most High will continue to rest him. That he will continue to enjoy the beauty of living in eternity in the presence of the maker of heaven and earth.